What's up guys, it's Adam from GymnasticsMethod.com and in this video I show you the 4 best basic scapula or shoulder blade exercises which are very helpful for beginners to gain strength for all calisthenics exercises. Alright, so you may ask yourself, what is shoulder blade workout? Are not shoulder blades bones? How is it possible to train for bones? Let me explain. Shoulder blades or scapulas are bones that are parts of our shoulder joints. The shoulder joint builds up for three bones, the clavicle, the humerus and the scapula. That's enough for anatomy, right? So the point is that in calisthenics upper body exercises, we use different shoulder alignments that are crucial to do the exercise the right way. These shoulder alignments and movements can be easily understood from the scapula movements. That's why we use the word scapula a lot. For instance, depress your scapulas or depress and abduct your scapulas. That means the same if I say depress your shoulders or depress and protract your shoulders. Each scapula movement and alignment is needed for different exercises. Examples. You need scapula depression and abduction for a push-up or a planche. The opposite, so depression and abduction is needed for Australian pull-ups and front lever. You need scapula depression in hanging before you start and during a pull-up and depression in support before you start and during a dip. It's that simple. But as you see, scapula movements and alignments are everything in calisthenics. Now you understand, so let's see the four best basic exercises you can do at home and help you to make your exercises clean and strong. The first exercise is scapula push-ups. You need to start with a proper push-up position with tight core, glutes, posterior pelvic tilt, locked out elbows and depressed and abducted scapulas. From here you need to relax your shoulders and go all the way down keeping the same position. Only your shoulders slash scapulas need to move. Hold the lower position for 1-2 to two seconds then push all the way up and hold it there for 1-2 to two seconds as well. Pay attention to the locked elbows, engaged core and don't let your head to sag. Do 10-15 to 15 reps and then 10-30 to 30 seconds hold. The second exercise is scapula abduction in rear push-up position. I couldn't find out shorter name, but if you have an idea, write a comment down below. So in this exercise, we will strengthen the opposite movement like in the previous one. Start with bent legs and backward looking fingers. Keep your shoulders relaxed and push up your hips as high as your shoulder mobility lets you. From here, depress and deduct your scapulas. Keep your elbows locked and focus on the shoulder movement. Don't try to cheat with pushing up your head and only elevating your hips. You can do this movement with lower hips as well. The point is to feel the right shoulder and scapula movement. Do 10 to 15 reps and then 10 to 30 seconds hold. The third exercise is scapula depression in support. Use two chairs for this exercise. You only need to support on the chairs with locked elbows and straight trunk. Depress your shoulders and scapulas in the starting position, then relax your muscles and go all the way down like you did in the scapula push-ups. Hold the lower and the upper end point for 1-2 to two seconds. Keep your elbows locked and your body straight. Do 10-15 to 15 reps and then 10-30 to 30 seconds hold. The last exercise is scapula depression in hanging. It's kind of difficult to do it at home, but if you have a sturdy door, you can hang on that. Hang with shoulder with grip and start with passive hang. From here, depress your shoulders. Imagine that you want to pull up yourself, but you can't bend your arms. Don't bend your arms at all. Keep them straight all the time. Hold the lower and the upper end point for one to two seconds. Do 10 to 15 reps and then 10 to 30 seconds hold. All right guys, so that's the basic shoulder blade or scapula workout that you can do at home. Scapula push-ups, scapula adduction in rear push-up position, scapula depression in support and hanging. All with 10 to 15 reps and 10 to 30 seconds hold. If you want to start a whole body preparation program that leads you step by step to the most advanced moves, click the link below and become a member on gymnasticsmethod.com and start your 7 day free trial today. Thank you for watching, if you liked this video and found it helpful, please like, comment and share. Subscribe and click on the bell if you don't want to miss the upcoming videos 
And for more free content, follow us on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. Also, please leave a comment down below. What do you want to see in the next videos? Thanks again and see you next Friday.